everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I am back to share with you the final packaging for the Dazzling Dangles. This is the front cover. After you watch this part of the video, I will have a tutorial sharing with you how I made them. I've edged all these with my sepia ink. There's a couple pieces of ripped paper here. So this is the front cover. Now it's made to open, you can open it like a book, so when you open it, it has the embellishments inside. Let me just go ahead and show you what I did here. So I added with some washi tape right here a couple of doilies so you could use this for a journaling spot. If you wanted to gift this to someone, you could add this after I finished the video. I just wanted something in the center envelope. So I didn't like that it was just plain and I wanted to add something that you could take apart or leave in if you liked. So that's that. And then it folds up and that's just the back plane in the back. And then the side pocket right here just has a piece of paper to write a thank you note. So that just slides in there. And then we turn it around this way again. And I modified this a little bit on um, the previous one that I did. I didn't have the lace at the top. So this is what I did. I added this white base, I went ahead and added it to a piece of card stock. It looks kind of like, it's one of those card bases. So I just added it to the back of that white card stock. I didn't like how it was just plain. Again, I, I like to add different layers of uh, papers and things. So I just added this pretty trim. I've had this in a lot of my kits in the past, but I just love this trim. So and that's the only thing different that I added to this. I just added it to the cardstock, so in the videos, except for I added the trim. And I also changed up the envelope with adding uh, the doilies inside. I hope that you enjoyed this, and stay tuned for the tutorial. I so appreciate you guys being here today because I have not done a video in a little while. So I wanted to come in and just let you know what I was working on. I'm using this Prima. I saw this on a channel, Bella Vintage Notebooks showed this and I thought that was a genius idea to use your washi tape holder to put your um, your little wooden ink tool in. So I had to I had to use that idea because that was awesome. I hope I, um, sometimes I don't remember to put it back in the little container and then, you know, it gets lost. So I'm um, just inking up the edges a little bit and giving it a little bit more of a grunge look. I do like the white showing through too. So um, when you have a little bit of color and then you have the darkness and the lightness, I like that together. So sometimes I'll use the white and sometimes I'll use the craft edge there. Tiffany & Co stamp that I got from Stamp Francisco. We're gonna adhere it down to the hard base too dark but then I just put like a little corner there stuff you guys I've been using it a lot and it's all with you guys who've bought my kits I've been putting snips of it in some of my my um, projects so at least you get to see a glimpse of it maybe a little bit longer here so I wanted to go up in this corner and have that sticking out right there okay so we're just gonna rip this right here Put a little piece on the bottom here and go like right there okay so we have that piece we're going to put down I decided because I'm gluing all these items that I would wait to get my nails done because no point in getting a bunch of junk all over them. I just had this in my Pink Sugar Memories kit and this stuff has so much texture on it. I absolutely love this. So what I'm using this for is it's going to house my sparkle pieces to be able to hang them down. That there. And then let's see what else I want to do these 
let me put this over here. I have these appliques that um, I'm going to use. These are those types of appliques when you cut on your applic your wedding appliques and you have leftover. Where's my little these little things? I've had these in kits before too. So that softens that area a little bit. So when the sparkle pieces kind of hang down, they'll be hanging down through here and then they'll fall into this little spot right here. I cut this off of a vintage curtain and I ruffled it from the stitching. So I basically just cut the ruffle really, really short so that I could have this as a trim. And then I can use the curtain for other things too as well. So we have this one here. So you have to secure it with glue pretty good here. And again, layer it over the top. So it's going to go up in this corner here. So that's another layer. So I'm working on a applique kit that's pink. And so I had some little bits left over, so I wanted to kind of use them up. So that's what I'm doing here, adding that, and then this little rosette. I love these things so much. Um, the color is so pretty, this tan color. And then we need some cheesecloth. And it's a little bit fatter, but not by much. And a little bit more of this. Uh, I used the wrong, I used the tacky glue up here and it made it too stiff with the fabric. So I like the feel, the, the feel of this is, the fabric tack is better. Um, it's real soft. So if you're deciding which glue to use, definitely use the fabric tack because it, it really does work. So as you can see here, this is what I did. So underneath here, all these layers, I added these garment pins here and then okay I just push this okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it like a book this is really cool because this can make a lot of you can make a journal with this so the fun part about it was I thought a lot of the girls that buy from me um, love journaling so that was my idea behind it was like okay they can use this when they're done they can journal with it and it's just a great little journaling idea and i'm sure somebody's come up with this i didn't look for a video on it this was just my take on it um so what i do here so what i do here is i just glue this down this part down here So you glued this part down here, right? So this is the top right here. So you see the seam right there? I don't know if you can see the seam, but there's a seam right there. Well, actually, essentially, this is the bottom. This is the bottom part, but we're going to use it for our top, okay? So what I like to do is when I cut it, I like to cut it um like kind of like a well i just kind of weave it in and out and it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not really gonna see it once you ink it up of course it opens up the um the envelope see so it opens it up and then we will ink it up right there have this tool here 
and then just go ahead and let's see so that's the top so this is the top right and then if you turn it this way you're looking at it sideways this way this is the flap that we just glued down this is where you're going to make another cut so you can make another pocket which I discovered this by accident by the way I just was playing around with it and I wanted to make a little tuck spot to put a little note in there it looks something like that when you're done and then I'm just gonna ink it up again so you can see as you can see this this envelope is trashed up it's got some ink on it I don't know what's on there I think I got this in a pack from the thrift store so you get some good ones and you get some bad ones in it but if you're gonna alter it and put paper over it you know you won't even see this part here so essentially this is this is your book now okay this is your pocket in the front and then so it's gonna fold up like this this is where I put the tool and this tool so I have this wedding dress that I was working on and I've had it in my to-do list for a while now um, this is the tool it's on my to-do list to you know cut it up and use it in my projects and put it in kits and stuff so I was playing around with it and this part here was really long and then there was a piece over here so I took it and I cut it really short and I wanted to have the stitching show so I made my own little wobbly it looks like a hand stitched piece of tool I thought it was really cool and then I inked it up with my ink dauber this thing I inked it up with this and kind of pounced on it with my ink the VersaFine this one I love this stuff that's my favorite and then I, it gave us this little you know aged look so it was stark white I don't even know if I have a piece here I could show you that it was stark white but it was like this color really stark white so because I wanted to add a little bit of vintageness to it I went ahead and that's what I did so let's go ahead and glue that on there just so you get the whole effect of oops, of what we're doing here on the edge and then move this out of the way before I glue on it then we're just going to add this I'm going to just cut that off So then you have this really cute look on the edge of your pocket or your book or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this little edge here is what holds your sparkle piece over the top. So it kind of closes it a little bit. That was my idea to have it on the edge so it would close it. So that's what I did here. So that's, I think I have a sample here. So in the last kit that I used, use this. This was a footprint book. It has a really cool. So what I loved about it was that it has this paper inside. This is what, it, and it has some written written words in there from 2002. But the paper. Look at this cool squiggly line here. Isn't that cool? I love it. So this is what I did. I took this piece of paper. Let's do this here. It has this really nice rough edge. So I knew I didn't want to rip that off. So I'm just cutting it in half like this, basically. Right? So you, and then I like to take the edge off here. So you have this edge here, right? And you have a straight edge here and then I like to rip it over here you could totally save that for collaging so this is what it essentially looks like when you before you start doing anything with it so actually I want to go down a little bit more and sometimes I I play with it and make it different as I go so it looks something like this 
okay? And of course you want to ink the edges again. And this is some pretty good thick paper. It has a nice texture to it. It's not just like your, let me get some more ink here. So anyway, you just ink it up to get your little edges there. And I like to layer paper too as well. So usually I layer two or three pieces of paper together. So uh, let me see. I think I want this in here. So I'm going to put this on the bottom. Oh, this is the other thing I like to do. I like to have these two together. And then I like to... Um, and then I'm going to rip this part too. So let me do that before I waste my time. So I'm just going to rip. Sorry about that. I keep hitting the camera, you guys. And then you want definition on it. So I'm just going to add the ink again. And I'm not doing it too heavy. I'm just kind of doing it light just to add some color there. So see how it looks now? It looks all ripped and old and really cool looking. So that's what I'm going to glue together now. Just take your glue. Because you're going to be adding more glue, you don't need a whole lot. Now if you like to sew, then you could just sew this project and do the same thing. You could just sew it on, just like now. So you see how it has that really cool, like ripped up, old looking edge. That's what I like about it. So that's what you what you see there. I have an image already done. Let me see if I want to use this one or the other one I took out. Where'd I put it? So this is the image that I have that I'm gonna add to this page here. And I want to add a little bit of cheesecloth to it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to glue this to the front of the envelope. And then we're going to add all these pretty little things over here to the front. I hope that I like to put the cheesecloth like right around underneath here so it kind of hangs out a little. Put a little bit there. Alright, let's do that. At the same time, get my image down. So you just have a, we were gluing this and my camera cut off. I guess it only gives you a certain amount of time and then it cuts you off. All the little bits that you cut off of things, you know, you can reuse them. So that's what I usually do. That. Just a little sparkle sparkle over there. And then we have this little piece here to finish. I got my little polka dot trim again. Now I'm, I don't know why, but I just want to cover over the stamp. I don't know why I do that, but I guess because I was trying for no color um, on this. And so if you don't want color, just cover over it like that. By the time I get done, you won't even see the color, right? Let's put some cheesecloth in there. putting in there a piece of lace so I have this piece of pretty like tea dyed lace that I want to put there just to give it some more texture I'm gonna cut some of that off
I love fabric tack but it gets all over my fingers no matter what I do I can't I'm not a clean crafter when it comes to keeping all this stuff off my fingers so then I have this little bit here that's just gonna go in the corner here and then this little bit piece of um, trim off of something some trim I had in a past kit so that's what it looks like when it's um, cut up so I just kind of lay everything out I usually try to when I make these in multiples I usually have them like all done and an assembly line but for this tutorial I couldn't do that to you guys that would be way too much time on your hands there huh and then let's see I want I wanted to have a, a different applique here but we'll just put this one So get out your um, envelopes, the ones that you have that fold up like this, and slit you the top right there. I give you some ideas on what ooh la la is all about, and you can take some of these ideas and make them yourself. So that is what it looks like, and then so when they open up the package, they have a little folder inside here for journaling. They could add paper or whatever they want to the inside, but this was just basically so that it could be, you know, used. Just some extras that I had left over. I just wanted to show you. I just keep them here for extras. I will be coming up with a new packaging idea for my pearlesque sparkle kit that's coming soon to Ooh La La. And I will have another packaging video to share with you on what I made. So this is just all of the different ephemera with the same beautiful embellishments that I added to this. They all have tool on the edges. They all have the same, just a different ephemera link to Artie Mae's Etsy shop and you could go check her out. She has a lot of other items. I'm into the ephemera at the moment. I've been buying a lot of ephemera from other people. I just bought one from Taylor Made Journals and I'm going to be using hers for my next sparkle kit. So I hope that you guys come back and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Craft with me and stay tuned because I'll be back with some more videos you guys. All right have a good night. Bye.